As forecasted, the Devil's Lake Basin was rocked by the storm that swept across North Dakota. We sent a crew on up there on Thursday to experience these conditions firsthand. Let's check in with Valley News Team's Courtney Lockie for the very latest. Courtney? Today was the first time that we've been able to leave our hotel. We caught a ride with a man who's plowing the streets, trying to get this town back up again. He tells us the biggest challenge right now is the wind. It's creating massive drifts like this one, and the snow is so wet and heavy that it's tough for the plows to move it. We experienced just how tough it was today for ourselves. This time last year, you could find 22 year old Austin Hansen in the field working on his farm. But this early winter storm uptown is completely blocked has got him spending his days behind the wheel of a truck plowing snow. Hansen tells us he wants to get the roads clear and help people in town. It's not one to joke around in and we got people that they don't even no common sense to even think of waiting. Hansen's been pushing snow around since Thursday. He says he's lived in Devil's Lake for five years and he's never seen anything like this. There's vehicles sitting all over town. We jumped in his truck and headed downtown. Going uptown, it's at least two to three feet deep and that's not even including the snow drifts. We saw dozens of stranded cars. And in just 30 minutes of driving, we got stuck ourselves twice. And if a truck like this can get stuck, it's safe to say anyone can. Also, officials want you to know the sooner people stay off of these dangerous roads, the sooner they can get them cleared up and get the town back open again. Katie. Thanks, Courtney. Stay safe out there. And as she talked about, crews have been hard at work across the state clearing roads. I-29, I-94 and Highway 2 have all reopened. Officials